April 24th, 2015 celebrates 25 years since the Hubble Space Telescope was launched. In that time, Hubble has taken some of the most incredible and amazing space photos ever taken. And these photos are all shared with people all around the world, making Hubble extremely loved and cared for by many, many people. So to celebrate this 25 years birthday, we're going to take a look back at seven of the most incredible photos ever taken by Hubble. So let the countdown begin. We begin our countdown, this incredible image of Jupiter taken by Hubble. And we often think of Hubble as taking images of very, very distant objects on the other side of the universe. It shows that Hubble can also take really, really great images of nearby objects. Now the great thing about this image is the level of detail in it. You can see these really bright spots on the image, and these are actually Jupiter's moons. The dark spots on Jupiter's are the shadows cast by those moons as they block the sunlight. You can also see the stripes in the atmosphere of Jupiter, all the different chemicals and weather conditions down on the surface of Jupiter. So whilst we always think of Hubble taking incredible images of really distant and energetic objects, it shows that Hubble can also take really great images of objects in our own backyard. At number six, we have an incredible image taken of by Hubble of a variable star and a giant cloud of gas and dust around the outside of it. Now, not too long ago in the past, this star was one of the biggest stars we knew of. However, in 2002, it seemed to lose most of the material that it was made up of, and this has formed this giant cloud of gas and dust around the outside of it. And we can see all this gas and dust because the light from the nearby stars illuminates it. Now, in the image, it kind of looks like there's lots of different shells of this gas and dust. But this is actually a reality, and it's all due to the fact the speed of light is finite. So what this means is the light that reflects off the back of the shell of dust, this giant cloud, takes longer to reach us than the light that reflects off the side and the front. So this makes it look like it's made of lots of different shells of gas and dust, rather than a single big cloud. This photo is really amazing because it shows how well Hubble is at taking pictures and seeing both stars and giant clouds of gas and dust in the universe. Staying within our own galaxy, number five is the image that Hubble took of a supernova, the Crab Nebula. Now Hubble wasn't able to see the supernova when the star exploded, but what it can see is the remnants that are left over. You see what happens is when a supernova happens and a star explodes, it throws out a lot of the material that's made out of into a giant cloud of gas and dust around the outside of it. And this is what you can see in this image here. At the centre of this is a small compact neutron star, a really small compact star that's left over from the original star. But this isn't what Hubble can see, you can just this giant cloud of gas and dust around the outside of it. And this giant cloud of gas and dust will keep expanding forever until eventually it can even form brand new stars that form from all this extra gas and dust. Number four, we travel outside our own galaxy to look at one of the most impressive galaxies ever imaged, the Sombrero Galaxy. Sombrero Galaxy is a disk galaxy with a large bulge of stars at its centre, making it look a bit like a sombrero. You can also see dark rings within the disk of the galaxy. And this is lots of dust that's in the disk that blocks light from all the stars within the disk from reaching us, making it look really, really dark. And galaxies come at all angles and inclinations. It just so happens Sombrero Galaxy is at just the right angle to create this impressive image. Number three, we're still outside our own galaxy and we'll look at the Antennae Galaxy. These are two galaxies that are colliding and merging with each other. Considering they're 50 million light years away, we have a really high level of detail in these images. You can see the bright spots in these galaxies where the central bulges of the galaxies are. However, it seems the rest of the galaxies are all misshapen and disturbed as the galaxies are interacting with each other. The bright blue spots in the images are where lots of young hot stars are forming. The dark patches are where the dust are that blocks this light. Around 400 million years, these galaxies will merge together into a single one. But until then, we can still get some incredible images as this giant colossal collision happens. Number two, we have one of the most incredible images ever taken by Hubble, that of the Pillars of Creation. The image shows giant pillars, clouds of gas and dust that are around 7,000 light years away from Earth. And inside these giant clouds of gas and dust, lots of young stars are formed from the hot gas, which is how the Pillars of Creation gets its name. 
It's incredible to see that these giant clouds of gas and dust aren't giant spheres and circles, they're actually really featured shapes and long pillars and finger-like shapes. Now, most stars are thought to come from these giant clouds of gas and dust, such as our own sun, so it's incredible that we can see this to understand more about where we came from and how our sun formed billions of years ago. So finally we're down to our number one image ever taken by Hubble. Hubble's taken some incredible images in the last 25 years, but surely the most amazing one is that of the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Now if you're watching this video on a small screen, you might not be able to see the shape of all these bright spots of light, but each bright spot is an individual galaxy. There's tens of thousands of galaxies on this image alone, and this only looks the tiniest fraction of the night sky. And each of these galaxies contains hundreds of billions of stars, which shows how many stars and how many galaxies there are in the universe. If we ever want to notice our place in the universe, we can look at this image and see how incredibly small we are in the grand scale of the universe. A truly incredible image taken by Hubble. So that's my top 7 images ever taken by Hubble. But you might disagree, so why not leave a comment below discussing what you think your favourite images of Hubble. If not, you can check out my other video on Hubble, which celebrates 25 year anniversary, where I discuss Hubble and some of the achievements it's had. Check out my channel for other science videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, otherwise thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. In 1990, NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope. It's one of the largest, most powerful telescope ever launched. It's able to see some of the faintest, most distant and most energetic things in the universe. 